Let's look at upgrades. Got a good bit of stuff today. Can we finally make... Okay, improved antenna. Lots of stuff available now. Expansion. Okay, all... Car body. I think acid seems like it's gonna be a big issue soon. Yeah, because we keep seeing those rotten eggs and stuff. But I feel like by the time we get it... We're gonna be making it into the deep zone. And then who knows what's new that's gonna be there, right? So maybe not the most important thing for us to get. Expanded locker. We have 10 stable energy. Can I afford this? A little bit. Oh, thermal vacuum. Yeah, fabric. A considerably more powerful iteration of the hand vac. This applies highly focused energy to produce an even more emphatic and efficient result, while also casting light into the dirtiest, darkest corners. Keep away from face. Okay. Oh, it needs thermosap crystals to make, I think. That makes it a bit harder for me to splurge on. I'll take it. I'll get the blueprint. By the way, that... That noise. It's you, right? I'm just gonna make an electrician's kit right here, if you don't mind, because that noise is killing me. Oh, I'll use some copper wires, though. Yeah, it's just... Shh, shh, let's be quiet here, okay? What about stuff like battery? Headlights, I think we're okay. Insulated headlight. Needs plasma. Blocks charged. Reinforced. Corrupted energy, we don't have that. Bio headlight. I think I'll get the armored panel at least because, yeah, it leads to the other stuff, so it's one that we have to get eventually. And then back over here, investigate. Maybe I will. Mm, I don't know about this, but. <laughs> Deco vend. Yes, this retrofitted vending machine will reward you with a car accessory in exchange for anchor energy. So the one I used earlier, did it use my energy without asking me? That's kind of awful. <laughs> I don't want that. I want energy. I'll have a locker. Over there? Ah, it's kind of far to walk to. Better than nothing, I suppose, because I've been putting stuff inside my toolbox and all that. Thank you. Okay, side fuel tank. Tanks. Backseat tank. That would be pretty good. Within, it's in the back seat. Side fuel tank. I don't want the side fuel, I want the back seat one. That would be good. But, more importantly, what- oh, lead acid battery. Right now, what's the capacity of my current thing? 50, right? Lead acid battery, 30? It's too big, it's too wobbly, won't fit under the hood. Ah, it'll be fine, it'll work out fine. Oh, before I do anything else, can I upgrade anything for me personally? Acid raincoat, tree candy, chemicals, uh, it does use a little bit, it'll be good though. Personal airbag, still haven't done it. Lead lined lab coat, this is necessary. Immediately. Olympium fragment. Now, I'm hesitant about this because of the chemicals. If I end up with anything extra after I'm done today, maybe I'll look into it. Yeah, okay. Thanks. Great. So the, the lead battery. Acid. Acid battery. Yeah. Where's the original battery? I have it. Do I just switch it out? No, this one is just forever like this, right? So this this lead battery here, it's for it's for another place. 
Oh, I just put it in the back like that. Okay. And now that means I have 80 for the total battery thing. Yeah, I see 80 on the on the dashboard there. Fantastic. Good, good, good. High capacity battery. I can immediately make a new one. That's better than what we just had. Yeah, we could. We could. Why not, right? Go big or go home. Leak resistant battery. Blocks wet. Blocks charged. This might be good. But can I have more than one thing in the back seat? Or do I? did I just make a lead acid battery and waste it? <laughs> it's not a waste because... You know, I need to, um, I needed to get it to get the next upgrade, but still. Passy is nice. Sure. Yeah. I'll just hold on to that for now. And then... Puncture-proof tire. All-terrain tire. This is better than the off-road tire in the road rating, but the off-road rating is a little bit worse than the off-road tire. Paddle tire, it's good for water. This has more health overall though, so I think it's gonna be worth it. Even though right now, I'm very happy with the off-road tires. They've barely given me any trouble except for the, the punctures from time to time. Expansion racks, fuel... I don't know about the, the side stuff though, because to be honest, like... I would rather have storage. Because if I have storage, I can hold battery jumpers. Whereas if I hold these things, I can only have these things. So I don't I don't really feel like it's worth it right now. Anchor energy converter? No, 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 we can't do that. Utilities. I've barely looked into this tree. Is this something we need? Auto parker? Okay, this is a nice convenience thing, but it doesn't, like, bother me a lot. I'm curious about what's beyond here because we do need to keep... Ooh, magnetic bumper! Collect loose scraps from the ground as you drive. But then we still have to get off the ground, right? So this is the kind of thing I was talking about. Can the car do some collecting for me? Mobile workbench. Oh, we can craft more complex stuff on the road. That'd be good. Jump jacks. Oh, maybe if our, we get our car stuck, then we can... We can get out of the bad situations. That makes sense. Or what about the engine? An eight-cylinder custom-crafted powerhouse boasting a turbocharger. We need a lot of stuff to make it though, don't we? Oh, it needs a lot of stable energy. Is it worth it? Probably. Probably. Iron shield. Far more effective solution than a wall of lead, this field of charged particles captures and effectively neutralizes even the most energetic ionizing radiation. Power-hungry, life-saving. A shield. Hold up. I wish I could pick up multiple at the same time. I'm interested to see what's beyond here. Oh, I can't get the mobile workbench because it's corrupted energy. Lazarus device. I need to scan a remnant ghost first. This means if I die, it'll bring me back to life one time. Lazarus, Lazarus project, that kind of thing, right? Are you wearing the socks? Nitro boost. I don't think I really need this. These are different abilities. But I don't really... It's fun. But the basic function of a car is to drive, and as long as I have that, I'm pretty happy, really. <laughs> Anti-corrosive. Okay, let's go back to this engine here. I'll unlock this engine. Four energy. Might be pretty expensive to make. High capacity battery. Yeah, I shouldn't have made the earlier one. I can make one right away already. Turbo light. Steel sheet. Thermosap crystals. I need 42. I just used a whole bunch. So no, I can't make it just yet. Jump jacks. Yeah, I'm kind of like... Okay, that's that's nice, but as long as we have that the core function of a car being able to drive, I'm 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 good. Anything I super want here? 
Honestly, just looking at the... Just looking at how things look. I feel like I'm pretty good. Liberator. Improved capacity. Mm-hmm. And it doesn't need thermosap crystals anymore. That in itself would be pretty good. But I haven't come across anything that I really need to cut out. That's the thing too. Magnetic hammer. It doesn't actually... Oh, smash the environment in the submission. That's all it says. <laughs> you can't get it anyway. Okay. Bio headlight. Bioluminescence. Reinforced headlight. Framed by steel. Insulated headlight. It needs plasma. Plasma is a little bit hard to come by sometimes. I'm... We just got a, quite a few upgrades, so I'm, I'm like, whoa, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of happy already. Do I need this much? Plasma charger to charge my car. I'm okay. XL roof battery. I can't. These are corrupted energy, solar panels. All right, um, let me go organize a little bit and see if we're particularly in need of anything. What's wrong with all my questions? They're the questions of a sane man. What's happening with all the test dummies in the zone? What was Raymond doing with his hands? How did the old ladies turn into Russians? Russians? <laughs> oh god, I, I, this zone, the weirdness is powered by the, you know, the, the whole well stuff, but does it just go on forever? Will the well ever dry up one day? I don't think we even know. Let's... Oh, wow, this is still charged up. That's crazy. I didn't realize until now. Wow, okay. Uh, but we can, we can still just... Oh! Wow. I... Oh, if I hold it, if I get near it, there's a potential it'll hurt me? Yeah, I can't really pick it up. But can I... Will you break my machine if I do that? Oh! <gasps> Gas cylinders. Well, it looks like we can hold it anyway, so not a huge problem. We've got a good haul here. This is everyone's favorite part, right? Of course, I'm not going to do this off-screen without you. <laughs> Bring it all in. Thanks. Is that it? Let me put this all... Wow, I got even more paints and stuff. Great. Rally steering wheel. So as you can see, the weather is very miserable once again. I've cleared the road so that we can go directly to the old well. But before that, mm, well, before that, I can see my paint locker is completely full, so that's not good. <laughs> that's not good. Maybe I'll start putting them in here. But they won't automatically go in. You have to drag them in. That's the bad thing. Oh, well, it is what it is, I suppose. And then the rally steering wheel. Okay. We should start with... Let's read the stuff that I picked up. This is an audio one. We'll do the reading first. Theories two, three. Oh, one, two, three. Theories one, two, and three. Sure. And what's the point of me putting it in the thing anyway? It's just for cataloging it, I suppose. Okay. I can pick it back up again, but why? No idea. Theories. Number one. I have it all figured out. Anomalies are like forces of nature. They're dumb things that happen, but without intelligence. Like, is the wind planning anything when it blows up at you? No, it's just the wind. Same for the rain. Sure, it's part of a complex meteorological system, but that doesn't mean it has a brain. Not convinced? Fine, because I have proof that the anomalies are just like weather. And just like the weather, they're manufactured and controlled by government installations hidden in the mountains. Those fake hollow mountains, hollowed up by the cowmen. Thank you, JK. Thank you for your insight. <laughs> Theory number two. Listen, between you and me, Arda is actually a cover-up. Look at that acronym. 
ARDA backwards is ADRA. That stands for the American Diamond Replication Association. Where we heard that before? It was mentioned in the 1946 Taylor broadcast, before it was suddenly cut off by bad weather, when government assassins finally caught up with him and bumped him off for revealing the truth. America has been using the Olympic Exclusion Zone as a secret facility to manufacture diamonds. Gold, too. They use gold as a secure basis for the dollar, while diamonds are both insanely valuable and yet also extremely easy to transport, even smuggle. It's all obvious, really. I don't have to explain myself further. Do your research. <laughs> Is this the government collecting what people think about the Olympic Exclusion Zone? Just to keep tabs on the general public opinion. Theory number three. The real reason they won't let us into the zone? It's not because they don't want us discovering what's really there. It's because they've been tunneling. They're using this technology to create shortcuts all around the planet, so you can go into a tunnel in Washington and come out in China or Egypt, or maybe a mall or something. And Arda will control all these tunnels and use them to regulate trade and tell us where we can and can't go. Anyway, they've already built the first tunnel, and you know where it goes? Idaho. Because they're coming after me. For tax evasion. I owe $54. <laughs> I can't even tell if this person themselves is being serious. Off the job. Number two. They told me that working in the zone would change my view of the world. That, would, that it would be the refresher I needed, open me up to new possibilities. I assumed they meant the work itself. Or perhaps they meant all the new people I'd meet. My life before was all airframe designs and the rust belt. Then suddenly, I'm surrounded by the most talented engineers from all around the country and beyond. There are even female scientists here. <laughs> it's taken me a while to get used to all the accents, all the new surnames. And yet, it wasn't the things I saw here, nor my meeting of new people that turned my world upside down. I don't know how to say this. I'm scared. The divorce was finalized last week. People have been telling me I should date again, that this is the point where I can define myself as a new person. But what if it isn't a woman that I want to date this time? There's this colleague of mine- never mind, I shouldn't go into specifics. Don't want to get anyone in trouble. It's just- I- I wonder- what does it say about who I am? Why do I feel this way now, at the age of 36? Nobody told me how to prepare for this. Nobody has ever talked about something like this. There's this one researcher in the Red Metal Labs that might feel the same. I can't ask. But I can't deny what I want and how I feel. Still, that doesn't mean I can even begin to understand it. From the Journal of AR. Oh. A journal entry not about the anomalies and whatnot, just... It's something very human. It's back in the 60s, right? So, of course, attitudes were even more closed off than today. Not that it's really that much better today, if you look in the, the most conservative parts of America, I guess. Wasn't there a last one? This one. This is the Cynthia researching into Oppie. Uh, Cynthia Chiaki. Here's what we know. Over 50 years ago, in November of 1946, Dr. Ophelia Turner was 27. She had recently returned home to the Olympic Peninsula to lick her wounds after a failed stint in academia. In a fit of obsession or redemption, or quite frankly, both, she cobbled together a laboratory in her basement and produced the first limb wave on nothing but a killer hunch and plain ingenuity. Or so the story goes. It's never clearly stated anywhere what limb waves and limb technology really were. It's all vague claims and wild theories, dreams that border more on the mystical than the scientific. What we do know is that limb stood for unlimited frequency. Radio oh. waves, once souped up and modulated just right, supposedly enabled the control of matter in a way that modern science both back then and now could only dream of. After Dr. Turner's discovery, she and a few friends, scientists and PhDs all, toyed with Lim in their garage labs for about four years. The local police and fire departments start making regular house calls, spurred on by increasingly disgruntled neighbors calling in about incidents that seem to grow larger and more disturbing as the years go on. After one too many reports, the federal government takes notice, and thus begins their severe interest in Lim technology. The next part happens quickly. In 1955, the United States government seizes not only the physical area where Dr. Turner and her scientists live, but the entire concept of limb technology. The area is at first evacuated under the pretense of safety, but quickly commandeered by the government. They establish a brand new department called ARDA, Advanced Resonance Development Authority, 
which was to be headed by Dr. Turner herself. Over the next 15 years, the government expands the zone's borders. They clear out civilians as they go and erect massive 500-meter walls to keep out an increasingly curious public. The zone started in the northernmost tip of the peninsula, then expanded outward twice. Once in 1961, again in 1967, to the outer oh. perimeter we see now. So that's why there's three layers of walls, I see. It's not that they planned for three layers to begin with, but they, they just kept... They updated their assumptions over time. They thought it was going to be enough, but it just wasn't. Three times over. This room here, we've never had anything to do with it. I think we came in here once during the beginning in the preview and that was it. I don't know what it is. There's nothing to do here. At least not yet. Hmm. But the walls aren't working very well despite being 500 meters long. How the hell did I get stuck in here then? If it worked well. <laughs> Alright. So I, I think we're about to get ready to get going now. Because we could just go straight to the wall, but before then... Yeah, I have a few... I have some energy lying around. It's not really lying around. Hold up. I did so many things, I'm just trying to figure out what I should talk about first. Wasn't there something else here I should be reading? No, that was it. So let me just put him right here. For the car, I tried to apply some level of consistency. I know you can't tell at all. You can't tell because it doesn't look like it. But what I did was, all the doors are armored, and then all the panels are lead. I wanted to do all of one, but number one, the resources were kind of intensive. Armored stuff needs sap, thermosap crystals, which I don't have very much of. And then, I was thinking, if I just made everything armored, then I wouldn't have the radiation resistance from the lead. Oh, what the heck, that's insulated! Clearly not doing a very good job of the, the whole uniform stuff either. <laughs> oh, whatever, just leave it alone. Maybe I should use some decals and paints now because we have... Oh, we are sitting on so much of this crap. It is insane. I don't know if we'll be able to see the base color because we have so many decals. Sketchy? Wanna try sketchy? You can't even see anything. Are you serious? Where does the sketchiness come from? Put it on this one. What? Well, where is the sketchiness, dude? It's the... Partially, it's because the lead stuff is blocking me. I can't see it. Okay, well, that, that didn't seem to be a very good one. Fine. Numbers. Like a number station. We can be our own number station. Our own freaky party. Yeah! Just 11? 1111. One, one, one. That sounds like a paranormal kind of timestamp. <laughs> Maybe I'll do another decal on the other side. Uh, we, we, uh, I definitely have a theme going on, okay? It's just... I, I'm very good at this. Alright, just, just leave me alone. Okay, there's a... Oh, it depends on where you position it, that's the problem. Because they don't have the same stuff on every single panel. So... Uh, I'm not really seeing anything here. Okay, all right, all right. Uh, I'm barely seeing anything, really. I like the retroness, though. Yeah, I, I like the bright colors because it's easy to see while we're just out doing whatever. But maybe I'll do some, like, bright orange paint somewhere on the chassis? Can we even see it? Okay, you know what? Does it have to be like that? Come on, can you not paint this properly? No? You just have to be like that, don't you? I'll paint this. Yeah. Okay, I mean... I've seen worse. <laughs> I've seen worse! The same. Alright, let's call it that for today's decoration time. One thing I kind of want to do is... <laughs> Let's try to pretend to engage in the quirk system a little, all right? We have five quirks today That I don't know the contents of I, I don't know at all I think the only one that I have any idea about is probably the um, radio thing. Do you want to try it? I Turned on the option in the menu that activates the quirk whenever I do the trigger 
Because I feel like if we're trying to diagnose it, if we can't even reliably trigger it, then how the hell are we going to diagnose it? Oh, do I have to... No, I just have to turn this on. Turn on the radio. It just changed, right? Okay, it absolutely is changing. What? Wait, I didn't do anything just now! Okay, that's- that's not good because I didn't do anything and it still changed the channel. Or did the podcast just sort of get cut off? I... I'm not really sure. It's a little bit... Yeah... I don't- well... We can try by- you know there was that one investigator module thing? By the way, I realized this thing isn't that smart. I'll show you how. The investigator module needs a circuit board. It needs all this stuff, right? But it doesn't... If you don't have the stuff, it doesn't know that you have the materials to make it. So it tells you that it's not available. For example, what I mean is, earlier, I didn't have the circuit board. So it didn't tell me that I could still make this, even though I have the materials to make the circuit board. We can't really rely on this available thing. It only shows it if you have exactly what it needs. We can try to get it just for fun. I, I guess. No, oh, I don't have enough plasma for the antenna anyway. I have a feeling the antenna thing might not be that great. Junction bypass would be good. Oh, junction bypass. Yeah, that probably would make my drive faster. Although, it's not the hugest of deals, I guess. All right. Let's do some investigation. Stick it in here. Watch it go away and turn back to not- Oh, wait, wait, my, my basketball. It's basically the same machine, isn't it? Installed investigator module. I can- oh, wow, I- I don't wanna- Okay, let's, let's just do something simple then. Let's try- the wipers. Wipers? When the wipers... Mm. See, these things are slightly different. I'm gonna say... Let's try switches on to be... Stays on? Stays on. When the wiper stays on... The radio... Cha changes volume! Wow! That's so fine. How am I ever going to notice that? But no, I believe it's changes channel. Something like that. Okay, well, uh, bad news. It has nothing to do with the wipers. <laughs> but the radio changing channel... Looks like it's correct. So it has nothing to do with the, the wipers. What the hell is it then? Oh my god. This is insane. We need to at least figure this one out, okay? There's five. Can we figure out one? If we can figure out one, I'd be happy. Is it the ignition? If the car is on? Did you just change channel right in front of me? I am so mad. You need to let me finish listening to that. Okay, I'm literally just sitting in the car here. I am not doing a single thing. The ignition isn't even on. The ignition isn't even on! What's happening? Is this how people feel about quirks on their old cars? I feel like I'm about to blow something up. What's possible? When the battery... The battery could... Wait, is my headlight... My headlight is not on right now. The battery's not draining. That isn't it. 
No abilities are being activated. When the car... None of it is when the car is stationary. When the dashboard... When the key is turning. Every car door... When, when every car door is closed? Holy crap, that would be insane. When any car door is closed. Whoa, that's so hard to diagnose. Let's just look at the possibilities. I don't think it has to do with the shifter. No, it's not the headlights. It's... N when the hood is closed, the radio... That's crazy! That's insane! When all... When, when any tire is detached. No, no, that isn't it. When the trunk is empty, when the... This is insane. This is insane. Hey, so I can use a hint. Should I be using a hint then? But how do I know you're gonna give me the hint for the right... right quirk? Okay. I used the hint. And it's saying there's something wrong with the battery. Something wrong with the car. Something wrong with the radio. As the very first thing, steering wheel, trunk. I don't have any more, like if I want more hints, I don't think I have any more energy. Yeah, I, uh, hold up. The amount of energy I have, yeah, zero, they want 1.5. For all this? I'm gonna go crazy, seriously. When the battery increases or decreases, car... This is so hard. You can hear it, it's still... It literally is still changing the radio station as I'm doing this. I'm not even... It's nothing to do with the steering wheel then. The trunk. I open the trunk. I don't think it's that one. The battery? Oh my gosh. What if it's like, when the radio stays on, the radio changes channel? Oh my god, this would be hilarious. Oh, but it isn't. <laughs> When the trunk is full, the radio changes channel. Oh! Wait, when something is full, the radio changes channel, but it's not the trunk. But it's something, it has to be something that can be full. So it's not the steering wheel. It's not the radio. When the battery is full, what? What? When the battery is full, the radio changes channel. I wanted to do this, but I was like, I feel like that's not it. Oh, what? What? Oh my. A recap of last night's thriller between your Pacific Sasquatch and the Sonoran Wildcats. The Sasquatch managed to sneak a W in overtime with the help of Ian Rathenberger's two goal effort, including the game winning flap shot. I'm draining the, the battery so the radio doesn't change. <laughs> and take on the demons at home next week. Is it changing again? I don't know, but okay, we finally got one figured out, but at what cost? I am no longer sane. Oh, it's not a mechanics kit. I need a battery. Do I have that? It's just that I have a bad battery, that's all. Wow. Okay. I'm... I am very tired after this round of, uh, quirk... <laughs> quirk investigation. You good now? Oh. Hey, but at least we can now listen to the radio in peace. We, we can move on now. I, I'm good. I- I also want to just go home and never- never get out of bed ever again. <laughs> That's all. I thought there were periods of time where... Yeah, I thought it was the wiper, but clearly not. Oh, I should probably turn this off now. Damn! Oh, by the way, we have 130 battery now because... Earlier, I put a acid battery on the other side. But then the, um, the high-capacity battery I put on this side. So there's two batteries inside now. Yeah. 
Which means we are all juiced up and ready to go or something like that. Yeah, I'll, I'll take a look at what potentially the other quirks can be. Something about the car. Oh my god, that's so vague. <laughs> something about the car. Something about the radio. That's crazy then, because if the radio switching channel earlier... Oh, that could have been linked. That's crazy. If the radio turns on and off, something happens. If the steering wheel does something, something happens. If the trunk... The trunk! That's a hard one. We'll keep a lookout, okay? Should we get going then? Probably. Okay, I I I'm so tired. I'm, I'm done. <laughs> oh! Oh, when we were outside on my trip connecting the roads earlier, I picked up a few podcastingies. I didn't play it. But we can play it right now. Abby, I gotta ask. Were you around when the old wall was nearly breached? He want to know if I was involved. I mean, sure. No one knew more about where anomalies came from than you. Heck, I mean, you know, the only reason anyone knew anything about anomalies was because of the research branch that you four started to build. Yes, and we developed ways to prevent anomalies, not create them. Well, you can't prevent something if you don't know where it's created in the first place. So you did pick up a thing or two around us scientists. And then we had a second one. All I know is, Audi didn't give two craps about anomaly prevention. You fought uphill the entire way. Never thought I'd see the day where you'd sugarcoat anything coming out of your mouth. The Harmonic Disruption Research Lab was an abject failure. No, I wasn't involved, but I stood by and let it happen. By that point, the Limb Project was in a bad way. Either it found a breakthrough and justified the government resources it was sucking up, or the entire project was put down. Everything depended on this technological quantum leap that evaded us for decades. In response, all good sense went straight out the window. For every wonder pulled out of thin air, limb technology conjured increasingly greater horrors. But it was done in the name of progress, and we were powerless to stop it. The Harmonic Disruption Research Branch was all I could do to soften the atrocities Arda unleashed in the name of progress. I tried to clean up my mess, but I failed. So what does it mean now that Arda has been shut down? The government just gave up? They're like, oh well, we can't contain it, so we'll just put it inside the zone. Leave it in there, tell people not to go there, and hope that it doesn't hurt anyone? That seems like not that great of a plan. We are going to the old wall today. Perpetual stability? Ooh, atmospheric ships are very high. We barely know anything here because this is at the edge of the deep zone border. A lot of things are new. Dang. Back roads. These things, we, we're pretty good at this stuff already. Intense radiation. Eerie darkness. Swift storm. Yeah, if nothing crazy happens, well, I'll just get there. The Warrens, what's this? I don't know. Oh, but I can just I can just skip over. I don't need to go there. Yeah, we'll see. Okay. Wait, it's It's almost 1 a.m. right now? That's gotta be wrong. That doesn't look like 1 a.m. at all. At all. Hmm. Hey, for the quirks, help me keep a lookout, okay? Because a lot of these things are... This is insane, the car doing something, like, ugh, whatever. At least I figured the one out, I'm happy enough about that. And anything else we gotta worry about before we head off? Anomalies! We saw some anomalies last time, didn't we? Moldy balloon. I'm so sick of it, man! I'm so done with this place! You know how I felt looking at that giant bouncing ball? Bounding ball of death, just heading down the street today? I felt like the whole world is out to get us. It isn't safe here anymore. We can't protect the scientists, the engineers, nobody. We've got these things out there shooting toxic snot around every day, and they act like people don't even exist. And they're mindless. It's not like you can reason with any of these things. You can't talk to them. I don't know how to predict how any of them will behave. I don't know what they want, if they want anything. All I know is I want out. Every day we go out there, we're in danger like nothing I've ever seen before. I can't sleep at night because I'm so scared, and because I don't even know if the barracks are safe now. Listen to me, Chen. We're gonna lose more soldiers. We're gonna lose more people. We shouldn't be here. We shouldn't be doing this. Cough box. Oh, this was like a... Yeah, I, I saw this. It was kind of like the sizzling mist, but it was just green. I didn't go near it. Probably toxic. 
It's difficult, you know? I mean, what do you tell a guy's mom? Do you say, sorry, Mrs. Baker, your son is just a glob of goo now? Do you say, it wasn't an entirely meaningless death, though scientists probably got some data from it? Do you say, I saw him dissolve right in front of my eyes, but a lot of his clothing is still okay, here's his superhero shorts. He just ran straight into the thing. It was so pointless. I feel bad for her. They're asking why it won't be an open casket. For Christ's sake, you could pour him into a jar. You might as well pump him into the coffin. Sad? No, I saw way worse things in the war, and they happened to people I cared about a lot more. This guy? This guy was a jerk. So, you want to see that new Poitier movie? That guy's slick. Uh, probably a good idea. I didn't, I didn't try to go inside. Burp bunny. We were right. The compound is organic. I'll transmit a full analysis shortly, but in the meantime, the acidic effects come from a solution that appears to be primarily a mix of formic and hydrochloric acid, while the gelatinous qualities come from a fatty substance that seems to include something very similar to palm, palmitic acid. The mix is precisely balanced. Exactly how it is synthesized is a mystery. The closest comparison I can make right now is to insects that also create organic acids, but we both know that's a stretch. Are we sure these things aren't alive? <laughs> questions. Questions. Spike log. Sir! Staff car stuck on a bush, sir! No, sir. This... This is a different bush. Yes, it's another bush again, but this one's a razor-sharp bush. Uh, car is maybe a little cut up and we can't move it, or we risk making it worse, sir. Where? Uh, grid reference is 10 DTT, 420-525. Oh, where on the car? Um, everywhere, sir. All on the underside, the wheels, the axle. Um, actually, no, sir. It hasn't gotten to your fine leather upholstery, now that you ask. <laughs> it should be okay. The general rule of thumb is don't touch anything. Just observe quietly from a distance, try not to touch it, and we, we should be okay. Brought some panels just in case, you know. I think we're, we don't really need to go crazy on the collection anymore, so I'm hoping we'll be able to get there fast. I have the limb shield here. What do I need to do with it? Just reach it first? Okay. I do have a lot of battery this time. So hopefully... We are all prepared. Oh boy, today's gonna be fun. Did my- did my side mirror change shape? Was it always circular? I thought it was rectangular. Oh well, whatever. Deep zone crossing. Cross the old wall. It's gonna be scary. Whoa, it's really pretty. The darkness makes it look pretty. I think we should go. I don't think we should stay. Seriously. But I don't think I've ever seen it like this before. It's the meadows. It's eerie darkness in the meadows area. Yeah, it'll be a pleasant drive. If I see something insane, like... <gasps> like this stuff. What was that? Oh god. Okay. I'll collect a little bit, okay? Oh, I think this, um... The log was implying that to collect it, to make it stay out. It has something to do with a light. So my car light, hopefully, was helping out with making it appear. Okay, let's go, let's go. I don't even care about the anchors, man. Let's just go. Oh, look at those eggs in the distance. Okay, I know this area doesn't seem like it right now, but this is supposed to be a... Uh... Whoa! Okay, I'm sorry. Sorry, car. Oh, the shambly mabob. Shambly mabob. Ignore. Oh no, the quirk has to do with. Okay, my headlights just went out. It went up by itself. And my my radio just turned on by itself. It's probably something to do with the quirks. 
Oh. It's quite scenic at nighttime, though. I'll give you that. I'll give you that much. Oh, one of. Oh, no! Two of my wheels. They need healing already. I'm wondering if I should even bother. Duh, why is the sound so scary? God. Okay, today I'm just gonna go for a quick trip, alright? It's okay if we can't unlock anything. I can't do every single trip as a long trip. Sometimes I want to mix it up. Some trips are long trips. Some trips are short trips. Today, forego the crap. Seriously. I know you guys don't believe me when I say that. Because I know I say a lot of stuff like, Oh yeah, I'm not gonna do all the collecting stuff. Oh yeah, I'm not gonna do all this and that and... I just end up lying every single time, but no, today, today for sure. Okay, except for maybe the, okay, that that core is right there. Kind of want it. Ooh, acid, acid, acid. Oh. Okay, let me hold up. Really? Why are my wipers... Why are my wipers always on? I don't even know. It's just that we need marsh eggs, and I think marsh eggs are around these things. Around? Yes. See, I didn't turn off my flashlight. Gotta be careful about that. Ooh. I'm interested in the plasma. Radi- oh! There was intense radiation in this area, that's right, I forgot about that. I'm really not here for this, though. Or I shouldn't be. The flashlight is too big sometimes. No, 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 just give me the stuff that matters. You see, I can actually see it better without the flashlight, which is insane. <laughs> There's light radiation going on the whole time. We can't stay long. We shouldn't stay long. Electricians kit electronics. I, I don't need that. Thanks. Okay, let's go. Let's go. My car. I might be okay with a lead apron, but my car can't stay for too long either. Yes. Wait, what was that? It was a little prompt. Oh, oh, here we go. Beautiful, thanks. It's actually right next to my own car. Good. That it? That it for now? How much did I get? Swamp Coral, 80! Uh, 80 is not really enough to do anything. I think I'll call it a wrap. Let's cross the old wall first. There might be more, you never know, right? But I think we saw some quirks were happening already with the radio. <gasps> Let's not forget my car, my wheels are not okay right now. I'm hoping we can repair that in the next zone. This is a good car? This is a good car. Nothing in the trunk though. Oh, it's a nice armor door, so this might be a... Might have been a liberator kind of thing. I barely use my liberator. But this will give me some thermal sap, hopefully. Yeah, I saw some. Okay, okay, I'm already... I'm not beating the allegations of not collecting resources, am I? I don't think so. What did I just stand on? Why is my health going, like, mad? 
Oh no. Let's be careful. I came for the instability core there. Okay, let's go, let's go. I saw it just now. It's so dark. Is it just randomly glowing? Charge a cough box. That's a cough box. Oh, this is so far. I feel like I should have driven here. No, oh, give me some of it. Okay, forget it. Fine, forget it. Let's go. Whoa! Oh, 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 oh. They might pop up in front of me. I just wanted a little bit of stable energy. Was that so much to ask for? I left my headlights on. Oh, it's dimming. It's dimming. Okay, I barely got any energy today, but I think it's okay. Let's go for now. Of course, there's a purple thing there. That's way too far, I can't. It's not even on the same road. So I'm pretty sure my, my light's dimmed by itself. But from what situation? I don't know. <laughs> you tell me. That light. Is that a lightning bug? I don't think this is a... Oh, what? I didn't even realize that's a thing. Wow, okay. How did I not... Because <laughs> I never looked behind me, that's why. What's the name for this light? It wasn't in the quirks list though, was it? Maybe I just wasn't paying attention. Okay, okay. Forget about the other one. Let's go. I know I still collected some stuff out of compulsion, but it's getting better. It's, um... I'm going to therapy for it. Okay, that's- that's a quirk. That's a quirk. I thought it was a lighting bug, because I didn't know we had this light here. But something is causing that to happen. We good, good? We did use quite a bit of battery already, but it's okay, I have a lot more than usual today. I will stop- I'll stop right here. Just so I can fix up my car a little bit. For the next leg of the journey. Yeah, we have a bit of putty. We actually have so much putty, I- I still have more putty at home. Because they kept giving me so much putty at one point. There you go. What about the limb pulse? Wait. This wheel's bad too? Oh, this one and this one. <gasps> it's bald and blown out. Oh my god, okay. This one, this just needs to be a new wheel entirely. Holy crap, I didn't even... <gasps> How have we been driving up until now? Oh my gosh. Okay, that might be a bit of a problem because this is actually my last... I only brought one spare wheel. That's it. I didn't have enough materials to make the all-terrain kind, if you're wondering why I don't have enough. I don't have the same ones. Okay, this is not fixable then. Should we just scrap it when we get home? Should we scrap it right now? Maybe. Just drop it. No fix, right? Bald and blown out. Thank you, you've done good work for me. Appreciate it. Thank you. And then uh, I still need a ceiling kit for the other one. I don't have a ceiling kit. I don't have a ceiling kit. What do I do? Make one. I was running pretty low on supplies back at home too. Stuff like rubber. Didn't really have much of it. 
Okay, now I feel a little bit better, I think. We can still... ...putty some of this up. Eh, it's still- we're good, we're good. The storm is... ...very far away. Hey, animation. We good? Good for now? Okay. I need to restock a little bit. Oh, no, 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 no. Give me all that. Anomaly studies number two. I don't care much about computers, because you know the... You know how we have one car in the garage every time we go back? There's also a computer that we can scrap every time. So the supplies that a computer can give, we can get it. I got too many pry bars. It's okay. Thanks. Ah. <sighs> it actually seems kind of peaceful. Maybe we should be going soon. Put it all in. Oh, oh, I hate it when I auto sort my inventory because I feel like it never sorts it in a way I like. Wait, what? What was that? Wait, was that something different? Hold on, show me the, show me the thing. Oh, <gasps> two, two. But look, that's not even in the middle of a road. Oh, it is, but ah. I feel like I've been burned by last time already. I think I'm... I'm good. I'm just gonna... Organize a tad here. I'm gonna spend so much time trying to go there and it's gonna end up being... Garbage. I know it. I know it. Not even gonna bother. Ah, I'll fix this later. Okay, let's go. You can have more than one at a time. That's how long I've been staying here. Where did it come from? It came from... Here. Came from near us, actually. Okay, here we go. Perpetual stability, and we- Oh! This has corrupted energy. Yeah. Alright. Wall crossing. Here we go. Whoa! You're not the first to try crossing the old wall since the anomalies moved in. But we'll make sure you're the first to survive. Two things to keep in mind. Excuse me? First, to get through the old wall, there are five crossing points. You need to induce the electrical grid the entire way by driving the car close enough and fast enough along the conductors. You'll see them as you go. Once you jumpstart the grid, Tobias will route the mid-zone power your way, but no induction, no power, no power, no crossing. Second, watch your battery gauge. You will live or die by that thing. Got it? Good. Start by connecting the power grid at the first crossing point. The controls will be up in the observation tower. Should I be jumping my batteries already? Devil grinder. Okay, we definitely... You're suddenly giving me a lot of pressure. Oh, it's right there. It's right there. I'm feeling very pressured right now. I... I'm a little bit scared. just wanna... Make sure my car is in top condition, because it looks like this will be necessary. Top condition for myself as well. I am... not looking great on the health front. I've got two medkits. Could be not enough in a pinch, just to keep in mind. And I'll, I think I'll just go right here. Devil Grinder. Don't let the devil grind us. What is- is that the same thing? Tour bus! Oh, <laughs> I don't want to know why it's called that. Tourist trap! They're mean bollards. It does feel like we have to be a bit careful today. Let's not mess around then. Nice to have stable energy, but more important for us to... ...link this thing first, probably. Okay. Do 
Did she say earlier, many people, I'm not the first to come to the wall, but I'm the first to survive? Or she's gonna try to make sure I'm the first to survive. Tourists. Uh, the road is a little bit hard to navigate. Oh, I'm gonna hit- I'm gonna hit the tourist. What the heck are those things? Beach ball. Explosive crate? Excuse me? Explosives. Oh, this is just lead? Okay, forget it then, forget it. Oh, this is so scary. I'm- I'm scared. Oh no, my wheel, my wheel. Wait, what? I just- I just changed you out! Wait, mechanics kit. Mechanics kit. Electrician's kit, no. Don't break, okay? You're my last one. Oh, my gas! Shoot, I forgot about my gas. Okay, let's... Let's use the big one. That's all of my large gas can. We can't stay for too long today then, okay? We only have one small can left. Even the noises here are s Oh, charge stop! Oh, you're gonna charge, right? No? Are you broken? Please charge my car. Are you charging my car? Honestly, can't really tell. Maybe I'll look at the battery. Uh, it doesn't look like it's doing too much here. I wish you were doing more, but I, I can't tell. Okay. Uh, forget about regular supplies for now. Oh. Oh! I have to do something in the office first, probably. Flip the switch in the tower to turn on circuit one. This tower. It said I was gonna live and die by my battery, so maybe I should take out some battery. I did increase my battery capacity earlier already, which I hope is enough. Oh man, oh god, okay, all right. Flip the switch. Did she say how many? Five? Did she say we had that many? No pressure, no pressure. Flip the switch. Install a functioning limb shield. At each crossing point. Use them to recharge your battery and hope they're still in working condition after all these years. The limb shield. You want me to turn it on now? Wait, did, did these lights just turn on? Oh, so maybe the... Oh, I should roll back a little bit so I can top up my battery. It wasn't on earlier, I think. There we go! That's more like it. While you do that, I will get that plasma. I gotta be careful because my scrapper is low, my my flashlight is low, my pry bar is low, although I have two. Just reminding myself by saying it out loud. I think we should be okay though because I added a lot of batteries. Yeah, we're full now. Now... now what? What's the next step? Install a functioning limb shield. Oh, I, I might want to put it on top, in the top, or in the front section then, just so we have the normal, the emitter plus this. Assign the limb shield car ability. I got you, got you. 
Oh, uh, I know I'm- Oh my god, I- I'm gonna use the wrong buttons for sure, I know it. So, limb pulse emitter is prevent unwanted hangers on. Limb shield is a powerful protective physical shield. Do I have to have it on all the time? When do I use it? F. It is on F. When do I use it? Do I have to do it all the time? I guess I'll find out. <laughs> I'll find out once I cross, I think. Here we go. Now? Oh, oh, the devil's grinder. Oh. Oh my goodness. Okay, I think I see what's happening here. Activate the shield whenever we see those yellow thingies. Oh, it's following it. Oh, okay. One of my back doors got messed up a little bit. I think it got messed up by the Devil Grinder. Not this. I don't even have time to look at... Wait. Ah, oh, tourists. Where am I going right now? Wait, I passed that point. Is that okay? Where am I supposed to go? Don't tell me I've passed the points I, I was supposed to go. Because why are the circles back here like that? Oh no. Let's go back. There was a yellow circle. I think I probably was supposed to do something there. Shoot. What? A little too slow on that one. Try again, driver. Oh, you see? There, there's some kind of a time component. I have to do it all in a row. I see. Okay. Alright. I missed it. Do I have to get out of the car to do that? I'll find out again. Where was it? It was right here. So I have to go back to the first one then, or...? I'm pretty sure I didn't need to go through the Devil's Grinder again. I think I went a little bit too far back. That's okay, giving me as myself a fresh start. I did try to repair my car a little bit already. So now we just- here we go, now we go. Alright. Theoretically, what I'm doing is just following where this is, right? I don't have to look at the road that much. I'm hoping that's the case. Oh, those tourists could get the hell out of here, please. My mistake was actually stopping. I should have just kept going. But I was afraid to keep following this because I wasn't sure where my goal is. Tobias, how's the power routing? Well, the neighbors are complaining about the flickering lights, but I told them to light some candles and sit tight. Francis? Levels are good. Holding steady. Looks like my limb pulse emitter is gonna die a painful death yet again. <laughs> Here's a charge stop. Here we go. I get it now. I see. Circuit complete. Keep it up, driver. Yeah, our battery's not gonna be a problem. This, however, could probably stand to be in better shape. Good? Alright, I feel better about sort of knowing what I'm supposed to be doing now. Let's go. Don't just drop it! My goodness. What are you doing, man? No room for it? All right. Since we're here anyway. It's a nice 
nice break. This is my reward this time, because I'm not going to have time to get any more supplies in between anything. You know, we saw a Numa tube earlier, but I had to abandon it. This one? Our goal is... Right, because they said before that the old zone is completely unpowered. The deep zone. Old wall, deep zone. So what we're trying to do right now is essentially trying to power up the whole place. No? Ooh, that was a lot. Okay, now, now what do you want? Now what do you want? No, the switch isn't here? There's no switches to be had. I just stopped here for fun. Oh, okay, maybe the switch only needs to be done at the first one, and this is just me stopping to collect some stuff. Okay, fine, that makes sense. My car is okay. Let's keep going. Oh, my freaking... The shield was on the whole time, but good thing the we were at the charge stop. Ah, <laughs> uh, no more devil grinders, please. Ah, those grinders are so crazy. We're being forced to go through it. Shield is almost dead. Limb shield is yellow. Getting some interference, Tobias. The power supply is wavering. I'm working on it. Our local battery farm's putting up a fuss. She hasn't been taxed like this in a while, but I'm easing her into it. Don't worry. I don't know what happens if we touch the tourist traps. I do know what'll happen if we touch the tourists. Yeah, we just gotta keep up the pace. We'll be fine. Battery farms one through three are reporting total power drain. They're spent. How long to recharge? Could take up to a day. Oh no, I got, I got this. A day? We're essentially trying to push this power source ahead. Battery's fine. Alright, we're doing good. As long as I make sure the shield is active. Oh shit, shit! Total power loss on stations 9 through 15. I'm on it! Oh shit! Get that power back up. The gate at the final crossing point won't open without it. I'm rerouting power from battery farm 6. EC! Too much and you'll blow out your control center. Too little and the entire array's going down. We have no choice. Thank you everyone for making all this work. I appreciate it. The music is telling me, stop looking at this stuff, we gotta go. Okay, just let me get the, the plasma at least. Plasma's rare. Oh. Come on. Oh, come on, seriously? I don't have time to sit here and figure this out. <laughs> Stuff it all in. I'm just gonna have to blow torch on me. Oh, hold on. Just in case. Blowtorch is almost dead, too. I think we still have some repair putty in the back. There's a lot of circles there, I don't know. The I think the green ones are the linked ones. Let 
Man, we just gotta go through the grinder every time. This is... They're trying to damage my car on purpose. There's no way around it. You have to drive on the grinder. Good enough? I'm just wondering how close do I have to get to that? Quirk, please! I don't have time to deal with you. Good. Battery farm six cores overloaded. I'm at it shutting down. We can't lose the remnant. I won't let it go. I... Get back inside. The radiation's peaking. I've got to repair it. I'll be damned if I'm gonna let this plan fail. We're too close. Your theory, but we can still prove it. I stop. It's too dangerous out there. Tobias. Please, come on, come back! Tobias! Stay safe! It's important that we do all this, but it's more important that you stay safe. Well, we're, we don't have any more charge stops. Oh, we're good on the battery! I'm ready to. Let's go. Don't do anything stupid, guys. How's my car looking? Uh, the blowtorch is almost done. Try to keep it for the most important components, maybe. Making that battery upgrade today, I think, was an extremely good investment. Could you imagine earlier if we only had 30? Yeah, we started with 30. Now we have 130. Is a storm coming? What's that sound? Oh, dear. Don't stand on the grinder. We're fine. We're fine. This is so chaotic. I barely know where I'm supposed to be going. In fact, I don't. I'm just following the, the lights. Try not to hit the tourists. Don't. Tobias, guys, I'm almost there. Francis, I love you forever. I love you forever. Oh! Power's back online. Francis! 
now. Tobias, 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 answer. <laughs> Tobias, answer me. Don't do it. You can't go out there. Driver, the power's holding steady. You could open that final gate. I'm going, I'm going. Meeting minutes. Oh, God. We don't have time for this. Oh, what's this? <laughs> Duct tape to fabric. No, I, I'm kind of low on both of those. I've never even once successfully used it. Forget it, forget it. I'm gonna bring up some repair putty with me, just in case. If I have any. Do I not have any? I didn't do much collection today. Oh, I really don't. Okay, in that case, I'm gonna pre-make a pr repair. Should I? I can make it later. Ow! Oh, I'm, I'm at the exit already. Didn't even have time to collect the stable energy and whatnot. Stable, unstable. Well, the ground's... Okay. We happy? That's it. Oh boy, oh boy, okay. Artisite, smokestacks. Max zone storm. But it's perpetually stable. Oh, we found all the new stuff! Devil Grinder, Tour Bus, Tourist Trap, Beach Ball. Okay. We probably have the gateway out of here. Bring the stabilizer online. Wait, where am I right now? Where am I right now? got scrambled in instability. I'm afraid, Tobias. I told you. I, I, I told you, didn't I? We were ready. We should have planned it better. We, we, we should have known. We did the best we could. No. Do not give me that. If we had, he, he'd be here with us. I'm sorry, but we've got to help the driver. Don't you dare. What? Wait, is this how you dealt with Alan's death? You just you put your head down and, and, and let work fill the gaps? Actually, that's precisely what I did. And you'll recall the breakthrough in self-healing materials that I made that year. Oh, well, good for you. I'm sure Alan would have been very proud of you using his death that way. You know what? That whole pep talk I gave you before to convince you to go through with it. Precisely the same crap Alan would tell me all the time. It's worth the sacrifice. Stay late. Don't worry about me. Finish your work. Then we can start a family. <laughs> always, always you'd spew that crap. So why'd you say it to me? Because he has to have been right. Because if I let myself think he was wrong, then... I... Can't live with that regret. I gave everything for them. This is the last thing I'm holding on to for myself. Every single day, I still think about how if I had left the zone when we had planned to, I wouldn't have lost Alan. I thought, I hoped that Lim Tech was done killing our own. I'm sorry about Tobias. Tobias is... was all I had. <laughs> I, uh, <coughs> I need to sign off for a while. We'll be here when you're ready. Glad you got through, driver. Power on that stabilizer, and I'll see you back at the garage. Sounds good to me. Thank you, all three of you, for helping me. And, oh, Tobias. I thank you in particular. Without you, I think... 
we wouldn't have had that one thing to really get Oppie and Francis to work together. <sighs> Thank you. Thank you. I don't think we should worry too much about random stuff. Let's maybe focus on the energy that we can get here. Because it's really irradiated. Oh, no, I don't need that. But I do think it's perpetually stable here. If it helps to know. So once we power on the stabilizer, do we still have to... I don't think we have to open our own gateway. Place looks bad right now, but it is... it is stable. Let's drive carefully. What are the conditions? Turning that on. The car going forward? The steering wheel turning, maybe? Steering wheel turning right. Left. Right. Maybe steering wheel turning right. Turns on the light in the back. We'll try that once we get back home. But let's focus on... All this here. Oh, it's so... The vegetation in this place is unclear. There's no electricity yet. So the place is kind of dark. Everything is just kind of awful right now. Okay, we'll, we'll grab this. Oh, we have to. It's along the way anyway. And then... If I can make a loop around to that one, that would be good too, but it's kind of a, a big loop. Oh, gas is a problem. We might not have that much gas. Okay, so let me check out how much gas we have after we get this one. Forget about that. Yeah, I think it's the steering wheel turning right. Hey, explosives might be a thing. Not raining anymore? Explosive crates. Wait, I should be... I need to take a photo. Are these special? Explosives is a new material entirely. It's almost like we can see the sky if you squint. You can sort of see the stars. It's corrupted energy, right? It is. Aside from the naming convention, though, I don't really feel like we've actually seen a noticeable difference between all the different types of energy. Oh, that's a tower. I don't have an impact hammer anymore, by the way. Gotta be careful. Oh, was that something new? Olympium fragment! This might have once been a more conventional metal. Either prolonged exposure to elements and anomalies in the zone, or deliberate experimentation has changed it into something quite different. It's firm, it's light, it's slightly warm? It could be excellent in an alloy. Yeah, I'm a little bit torn right now because I think right now it's the best time to collect some new stuff. Red balloon. Because it's perpetually stable here. It actually is a really good time to um, collect stuff. Man, I, I really do feel like maybe we should be saving these. Too bad. I'm scrapping them. Until my scrapper gives out anyway, which is exactly right now. <laughs> I'll have the thermostat. Thanks. Pass it over. Come on. Whoa.
Whoa. Whoa, whoa! Oh, God. Oh, wow. It's Bollocks plus tourists now. Oh, that's what the whole thing was? Oh, that's a tourist trap. I see. I guess that makes sense. Yeah, if I use the Liberator on the armored stuff, then we don't have to make new stuff. Might have been a better plan if I planned ahead. Oh well, that's fine. Um, yeah, maybe I'll just drive over there, I think. Actually, it might be better if I drive back up and then go this way. I think this area is gonna be relatively safe. I'll just grab the stuff and go, okay? This place actually seems quite barren resource-wise. And you just saw there, there was a gas warning. I really think we gotta go. I, I haven't seen a single... Well, I have seen one, one or two houses, some cars here and there, but overall... Very barren and samey kind of place. We really... Wait. Oh my god, okay, this is all we have left. We gotta go. What happens if you completely run out of gas? I don't know if there are options for that. Are we just stuck here and we have to try to kill ourselves somehow? Okay, we'll, we'll drive here. Can we just cut through, do you think? I know it's not a good idea, but I think this time it might not be that bad because the, the roads are... Fairly barren, not many trees, and if there are stuff in the way, it's gigantic buildings and stuff. We see the tower already, it's right there. That's the tower. Okay, we don't have to cut through the whole way. As long as I'm up here, I'm happy. Yeah, that light. Keeps turning on. Oh! Quite a good number of resources here, it looks like. Maybe? There are some houses. I think we're okay though, I wanna go home. I wanna go home. As much as I wanna grab the panels here, free iron... Free armor doors and stuff. I think I'll just grab it. I don't have that kind of room. Just bringing it back takes up a lot of space. But we get less back if we do stuff like this. Just scrapping it. Pretty sure. Okay. There are barely any cars in here. Now, do I want to position my car in a particular way? I don't know yet, because we don't know where we're going. And the wheel... Wheel's not doing good. Yeah, I don't know what what way to position my car in. We just gotta live like this. But before the stabilizer gets activated... Mechanics kit. We don't want a wheel falling off in the middle of all this. Boop, boop, boop. Are you ready? I'm just gonna lighten my load a little bit. We should probably turn off the ignition too because the gas, we're low on gas. Let's hurry up. What was that? What the hell was that? Whoa. I feel like they just sort of expect I'll know what to do now. They don't even tell me anything. Well, I know Oppie... Oppie and Gang are a little bit busy right now. Okay, keep driving. We, we need to follow the road. It's far easier. It's coming in pretty slowly. We should be fine. 
Oh, we can see the, the redness right behind us. That's kind of creepy. Oh, the red is coming in pretty fast, though. Now I'll figure you quirks out once we get back home. Really quickly, since you're right here. Oh, it looks kind of pretty. If you look at it like that. Pretty in a deadly, fatal kind of way. No, no, no hitchhiking. Sorry, goodbye. It looks like if I turn the wheel to the right, there's some kind of a, a quirk that goes... that turns the light on. But if I turn it to the left, th does it turn it off? Is that why it's going on and off? Because otherwise, it should just stay on, right? But it doesn't. Something is turning it off too. Maybe it's more of a toggle. Four point seven corrupted energy. Welcome back. Now we know where the well is, but you're the first to step foot in the deep zone in over fifteen years. And I need more time to understand Alan's suppression method. So why don't you stretch your legs and chart the deep zone while you're at it? We'll need to map a way to the well as it is. Explore? Just plain explore? It felt like we got a pretty good look already, to be honest. Because we... According to the stuff that's available to be... Oh, hold up. According to the list of stuff that's available in each zone, we did manage to see all all the anomalies in the previous zone. I'm not sure if that's going to be all the available new deep zone um, anomalies completely, but yeah. Okay, we made it back. We're in one piece. All good. Car is in pretty dang good condition too, but the quirks are... How many do you think we have now? We have five again. We have five yet again. Oh, hey, what? Hey, the... Oh, I was gonna complain. I thought... Wait. Did it change? We had something on car before, didn't we? Now it's gone. I thought all the hints were gone. Radio, steering wheel. Steering wheel turns right. Then... Dome light switches on. Steering, okay. Steering wheel. Oh, maybe it's toggle. Yeah, because if it turns on and off, it's a toggle. It's not switching on or off. But is it steering wheel stays turning? Then the dome light toggles. Steering wheel swerves hard? There's kind of a programming-like logic to this. Mechanics kit. Doesn't really bother me too much, but sure. That's the one that was really obvious, but I'm pretty sure something else was going on with the radio, too. One step at a time, right? What do you got for me? Sanderson is reporting a pimple that he can just keep squeezing. It never empties, no matter how long he pushes on it. Can you add that to the list? Yeah, just put it under P. Yeah, for pimple. <laughs> you should start a YouTube channel where you show people how you pop your pimples. Alright, I'm kind of like... Uh, I'm just tired. That was a bit of a long day and... Obviously, we have a, a big problem with Tobias being gone now too. Rest in peace. Thank you for everything you've done for us so far. Thank you. Repair putty is always good. That's it. They used to be nice. They would give us three different times. Oh, wow. Wait, did it go this far? Huh. Maybe... Let's quickly check out what we can get. 
we can get the airbag again. Anti-static gloves, because we have enough marsh eggs. But I think radiation... Yeah, we only ever got the two Olympium fragments. I didn't find any more in that entire place. Mm -mm, maybe I could have found more if I took some time, but I... We can explore later. Grip gloves. Blocks. Theft. That sounds good. Sounds good to me. And then that's it. I can't even get the other one anymore. Wait. I can make carbon fiberglass. Stiff shirt. I can make carbon fiberglass. Piercing resistant. I'm not even sure... What can pierce me? <laughs> Do I want to find out? That sounds more like a car thing. Like if we talk about the little spike puddles, that's a car thing, but this is for me. This is for me personally. Ah, I guess I'll get the airbag. Okay. Sure. Oh yeah, I'm kind of hurt right now. You want to take a look at the place first? We don't actually have a goal, we're just trying to explore more of the place. Which, fair enough, I guess. Oh, deep and extreme. We were here earlier, I think. Okay. Well, we'll, we'll explore in a bit. Just... Let me think of what we can do together right now before I go clean up. Maybe look at the energy stuff here? We got some new corrupt energy. So a lot more stuff should be available. Amp engine. Limb chipped engine. Research limb chip. Where do we get the limb chip? Limb chip. Should I get it right now? This integrated circuit was carefully constructed using limb tech. It'll be the keystone in so many advanced devices. Somebody should patent this. Sounds like something we should get earlier. Fabric! Why would that need fabric? Okay. Olympium torch. I don't think we can make this because we need Olympium fragments and we don't have that. That's the problem. Doesn't mean it won't be good to get it, I guess, but not my concern. I haven't, I haven't even been using the Liberator. Corrupted energy, magnetic hammer. Smash the- it doesn't say what it does. Smash the environment into submission. <laughs> we talked about this already. I guess it maybe... It collects stuff after breaking it? Something like that? Anything that we want? For sure. Fuel! At the end, it started becoming a little bit of a problem. We still had enough, but yeah. Anchor energy converter. It can be directly converted into battery power. Mm, no. Don't want that. Leak resistant battery. Don't have enough stable energy. No sorry. Olympium door. So this is great now, but we... This is probably the best door available. We can get it, but I don't think we have the resources to make it. It's just not... This is not a thing. But I gotta get it, to begin with. Yeah, this means that we're probably gonna unlock new things to do, but we're not gonna be able to do them until we go out and get more supplies, which maybe I'll do after this. Side fuel tank. Utilities. See, my problem there wasn't the battery. Battery I feel pretty good about, but it was the, the gas. In which case, do I want to get some side fuel tanks? Yeah, we have too much battery. We can replace one of the backseat things for more fuel, maybe. But I'm curious... Yeah, okay. We don't have that much stable energy today. That's what I'm wondering about. Here we go. Fuel synthesizer. Creates gasoline from various environmental substances and passively absorbs it in the zone. Be sure to siphon it regularly. Oh, wow. But it costs battery. It all goes around. You can't just... Yeah, but I do think maybe having four side storages is a little bit too much. 
and we could try to look into switching them out for other things. Backseat tank? I, I like the sound of that. Is that all we're gonna get today for stable energy? Sure. What about corrupt energy? That's the main thing. Anything corrupt that we can make right now? Bio headlight. Reinforced headlight. All the corrupt stuff needs that Olympium thing. I'm pretty sure. Bio headlight. The reinforced headlight's better. It has physical resistance 50%. Otherwise, the battery drainage is the same. I'm kind of happy with the regular headlights, though. I don't really need it to be any better. It would be great if we could, but it's just not the biggest factor right now. I think maybe what I'll do... Oh, I can't do hydro generator. It needs stable energy. Dang it. All of the side battery things need stable energy, which I just used all of mine of. <laughs> roof battery. We don't have anything on the roof right now. Yeah, if we put battery on the roof, and then on the back seat, we use gas. Maybe that's a better bet. Do we need this much energy? Oh, well, it's here. Better use it, I suppose. I don't even know if we can make it. Wheels! Oh man, the wheels? I don't have enough for this. Expanded matter regulator. Oh, this would have been good, but I used my marsh eggs in making some soup for myself. <laughs> That's okay. I can make a deco vent. See, when stuff costs this much, this is a... This is getting accessories, but you're telling me it takes two whole energy. That's quite expensive for something that's not really functional. I can make this, probably, if I have a circuit board. Parts locker. Okay, let's maybe... Rapid? This is so pointless, though. It really is. Like, these two I feel like are pointless, because it's just back at the garage. It's not even when we're outside, and even if it's outside, not that big of a problem. Right, this is the whole list. I see. Liberator... been using it. Barely. I, I think I think we're good. Yeah, okay. You know what we should do? We should read about... Oh, first of all, we should close this door again. Doesn't help with the noise, though, actually. We should read about the anomalies we found in the deep zone. Tour bus! We've lost Dr. Powell today, too. God damn it. Yes. Yes, I'm fine. Yes, I'm sure. Yes, I'll hold. Yes, that's right. Yes, he was adamant it was safe. It was stupid and it was unnecessary. That damn man. Listen, tell your men to stay back. This one is even more dangerous than the others. It's like... It's like an evolution. Yes, that's what I said. I don't care what you think. We can worry about that later. Right now, I need helicopter extraction and nobody, I mean nobody, goes near any more of those things. Don't forget, Captain, that the chain of command just changed. Now I'm in charge. Is it that dangerous? I didn't touch it. Tourist trap. It would seem that, with the passage of time, many anomalies evolve through a kind of synthesis. The constant rearrangement happening within the zone produces new combinations of previous oddities. Some are one-offs, others endure. These gigantic monstrous amalgams are amongst those that keep reoccurring. They appear to be formed in part from the spontaneous columns of rock that erupt out of the ground, in part from those test dummies that themselves seem to have been previous, previously combined with a cache of missing claymores. What strikes me most is their remarkable coherence. Clumsy as they are, it's almost as if they serve a very deliberate function. As if they were designed, perhaps for some defensive purpose, some deterrence. And this ongoing synthesis has me wonder if the zone is not only a constant, in a constant state of flux, but perhaps even in a state of evolution? Even deliberate experimentation? That sounds kind of alive to me. Devil Grinder. So imagine a dust devil, yeah? You know those? So imagine a dust devil, right? But turn up to the max. Yeah, I said it, to the max. Lenny, hold the receiver to your ear. Your ear. Yeah, 
So it's like a dust devil, but so much more powerful. Like small, like focused, but so strong. With the strength to just pick up trash and even stones and hurl them around. Collins has a goddamn concussion or some crap like that. A concussion? Huh? Oh, it's when you hurt your head. No, not when you hurt your head. I mean, a concussion is when a person hurts their head. What did you say? Yeah, sure, like a boxer. Listen, Lenny. I've seen this thing smash a truck in this submission. Like, just pummel them. I said pummel them! Hey, hold the receiver to your ear, man! Shout? I am shouting, Lenny! But you're not listening! I'm trying to... <sighs> Lenny, what is going on? What are you doing? Is someone there? Who is that? What the hell, Lenny? Are you kissing? <laughs> oh, he's a little bit busy. Didn't want to interrupt your little tirade, though. Okay. Time? Let me reorganize a little bit, and then we'll... I'll get back to the deep zone again just to explore. Maybe there's not going to be too much going on, but look at the Olympium. Yeah, we can't. That's what I thought. We barely found any. XL roof battery needs a limb chip. Limb chip needs Olympium fragments, which means I cannot make a single limb chip right now. <laughs> All the stuff I unlocked might not be makeable, but I can make a side fuel tank, backseat tank. I'll do a backseat one. Because I think I'll probably replace the acid battery. We don't need both. That's good. Oh, but now I gotta fill it up too. Mm, okay, that, that makes sense. That makes sense. And then you can just go back here for now. Oh, this should be in the parts locker. The parts locker is kind of strange. There's a lot of space here, but you can only fit one thing in. Like, you cannot put another thing in. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I just sort of left all this stuff on me. So if I want to... If I want to fill up the tank on that side, can I do it from this? I don't think I can. In which case... Oh. Then I should probably be switching the positions then. Am I holding on to it? Oh, it's here. Yeah, because the, the gas is on this side. So we should make sure they're both on the same sides to make it easier for myself. And then... Are you leaking gas, by the way? Did I not fill this? I filled the two things, but not the main car? Okay. Or... Is this leaking gas? It could be. Did you hear that? The radio just changed channels? Pretty sure it did. From me doing what? God knows. <laughs> 